too. <laughs> so weird. We were just talking before we came on stage. One of our uh, uh, set of our dear friends are here with us, um, traveling around right now, and we were talking about when strangers approach you. Um, and she has a series of very troubling, in my opinion, tales about strangers approaching her and being like, "There's just something about you." And then at the end of that exchange, she has on occasion given that person her phone number, like not for any reason other than just like feeling like there was a connection and we were like, you're gonna get kidnapped. Don't <laughs> do that again. But then I love, and like my instinct of course is to be like, that's so amazing, that's what's missing from the world. Like I think that there were so many things, like we came up, you know, in the 90s as teenagers and then started our career in the late 90s and when MySpace and the internet was happening, it was, it was a way for our band to reach people when we didn't have any mainstream media coverage. garbage can. Like, it's terrifying. Like, I guess I'll go on Twitter, <laughs> post a photo, and then quickly like a few things, and then immediately disengage before something terrible hits my eye. Um, back in the day, it was so amazing, and so there's a, a temptation to reward that kind of human connection, random human connection, but it almost always happens to me when I'm drinking. So it's like, I'm at a party, get into a conversation, it feels so real. It feels like really understanding one another. And then the next day when they text, I'm like, ah, dumb. Don't be your first stranger. These people, I love you. You are just having a normal social interaction. I give you my phone number. That's what I <laughs> yeah, well, fake phone number, that's the thing is that we were discussing what do you say when you give a fake phone number. We were saying our strategy often is because we meet amazing people all the time, but we've just had to stop because sometimes a normal interaction turns into not normal later on, right? And that's fine. Like, sometimes you can't gauge that, and it's not anyone's fault. I mean, the Tim Corbett should not be my friend. No, we acted in, we acted, we act completely out of control when we need people we like. So it's, they shouldn't give us the phone numbers that you want to say that. But to stay on topic here, I basically we were debating like, you, I don't want to give someone a fake phone number. I would rather be honest and just say, actually, I'm sorry, I don't give my phone number out, but here's this email address that I just give to Sephora when I shop there. <laughs> Anyway, what do you like? What do you guys do? Like, do you give a fake number? I don't someone talk. asks you. Yeah. Yeah. Give a fake number. Like, what? Yeah. <laughs> you don't give out. What do people, do people say? I suggested. I was like, next time that happens, you can say, I'll find you on Facebook. Yeah. Now do that. Yeah. 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 You say, I'll see you on Snapchat? What? What does that mean? I'm so old. We need to book you and have a conversation about what that means. You literally say, yeah, like a consultation to talk about. That's how they were Mary King. Yeah, I'm an old person. Yeah, that's me. You look like 16, so. Um, how old are you? 19. No, that gets right. What does the Snapchat thing mean though? Like you say I'll see you on Snapchat, you find them on Snapchat? You take pictures of each other and say, Woo! You take pictures of each other? I mean, I understand the general premise of Snapchat is being like, I would, so when you meet someone on the street and have an interaction with them, you would be like, take a picture and then put them on your Snapchat. What the fuck? Why? Okay, 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 Actually, though, this is timely. This is by accident, but timely. But uh, this, these next two songs are from a, well, these next four songs actually are from a record called The Con. <laughs> As most people know, because I talked about it nonstop, which was pretty inappropriate, but I was attempting to, to land, like, to get into a relationship with someone who was on MySpace, so I, yeah. And I, um, just for the record, we were using Razor telephones. They didn't even know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had a band in my space, but I had never even loaded anything onto 
gets, I don't understand. So still loaded things. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. So anyway, but she had a MySpace, and I was like, I would go there and obsess over and I wrote all these songs. Okay. <laughs> Don't call me back. I imagine you, yes, I was distant, not insistent. 